But I mean, yeah. but what is depression? Do you know yeah. what I mean? And you kind yeah. of wonder. I mean, that was, sorry, that just went like weirdly philosophical there, didn't it? But you kind of <laughs> wonder what, like, how many people who have been treated with these SSRIs for so long, like how many guys who are sadly, you know, not around to tell the tale, have actually had testosterone deficiency? Mm-hmm. Um, because actually a lot, of the people that I think back and this is one of these like horrible sort of moments where you think back and you just think god how many people have I missed that actually this might have been their reason Mm -hmm. and yeah I think that's an it's it's a question to ask but you don't we don't I don't think we'll ever really know Mm. but I can't tell you many guys that I've treated with an antidepressant that's come skipping back into my room six months later but you've had people that have had testosterone replacement therapy coming and back in fine yeah, yeah absolutely yeah yeah absolutely yeah yeah playing devil's advocate um have you have you treated men and it's not worked i have treated men and they'd had a bumpy first three months yeah. uh with regards to anxiety mm-hmm uh with regards to just being a bit emotionally incontinent for a bit mm. um for want of a better phrase a bit tearful a bit um tetchy um don't know what that's about but it happens it's usually the f- first two maybe three month window if there's going to be a bumpy time that's it yeah. um and then it tends to level out and they tend to level out and they can be, they can say that they'll be greeted with like bigger life events and things that would stress them out before and just feel a bit more of a sense of control over it. Um, that's a really common thing. And they can, they'll still feel upset about things and sad about things, but steadier, mm. um, which is interesting. Yeah. There'd be some interesting functional MRIs to do there. But mm. yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It's been really fascinating seeing all these different types of blokes and people coming in and, and seeing how they react and how they change and then thinking about what you can maybe do different and, you know, maybe... Yeah, well, I mean, even just eye contact, body language, uh, like joking. Mm. Yeah. Coming yeah. back in with a bit more like banter, it's like you were dull last time. So <laughs> none of you, none of you, you've all been great. <laughs> but yeah, they were. Do you want about me on that podcast? I'm like, nah. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't you. I promise. Um, but yeah, and just sort of seeing seeing those changes is really heartening because that's what I'm getting in a consultation room and just being their doc. But actually, um, just just friends and friendships being redeveloped and everything mm. and you know people are like yeah my mates have all been like oh you're back <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is just really lovely to see